standard form. Standard form is a way of writing numbers that is convenient, especially when we're dealing with big, very big, or very small numbers. Now, in order to write a number in standard form, what we're going to do is we're simply going to turn the number into two parts. We're going to have the first part, which will always be between 1 and 10, but not including 10. And the second part, which is always going to be a power of 10, something raised to a power of 10. So that's the basic format of writing a number in standard form. And you can see it here from the examples that we have given. So how do we go about this? Well, the first thing we need to do is we know that every number has a decimal point. In a whole number, sometimes we choose to omit the decimal point, but we know it's there. And that's where it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to turn this number, 23,000, into a number between 1 and 10. So in this case, where are we going to put the decimal point? We're going to put it between the 2 and the 3. And so the point will move here to give us 2.3. And so that's going to be the first part of our number, 2.3. Then we're going to multiply it by 10. But to what power? Well, in order to determine what power, we're going to ask ourselves to go back to our original place. How many times would we have to multiply 2.3? 1 two, three, four. So in other words, we have to move the point four times to go back to where it started. And that's why the answer will be 2.3 times 10 to the power of four. And that's our answer here. If you look at this second example, which we've chosen because it's a decimal, again, we need to realize that we need to make a number between 10, 1 and 10. So in this case, again, we're going to make 2.3. And in order to do that, our point will have to go here. So that gives us our 2.3. And then we have to ask ourselves, what do we have to multiply 2.3 by to give us our number back? And so in this case, we're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4 times again, but this time into the left direction. And so it's going to be 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4. One thing to note here is that whenever we're dealing with numbers greater than 1, the index will always be positive. And when we're dealing with numbers smaller than 1, the index will always be negative. Now, you can get all kinds of numbers, long numbers, big numbers, short numbers, with all kinds of digits. So we'll take this number here as an example. Well, we still have to turn it into a number between uh, 1 and 10. And so how are we going to do that? We're just going to put our decimal point here. So we're going to get 3.6589. And then we're still going to times it by 10. That's the basic form. That we take and then we have to ask ourselves how do we go back to what we started with so in this case we would have to move our point one two three four times so 10 to the power of four so we'd have 3.6589 times 10 to the power of four as an answer and what about if we try another decimal number again we want to turn this into standard form we'd have to turn it first into a number between one and ten what will we do Yes, 6.047. Make sure you don't leave out any of the numbers that come after the point so that our number is complete, times 10. And again, we have to ask ourselves, how many times will we move our point to go back to where it was to begin with? Well, we've moved our point here. So to go back, 1, 2. And so this time, 10 to the negative so that's how we use standard form. Standard form, as I said at the beginning, is only simply a way of expressing numbers as multiples of 10. And it's very convenient when you do other aspects of maths. So try to remember the procedure. You start off with a number between 1 and 10 times 10. And then the power is determined by what you would need to do to the decimal point in order to go back to the number you started with. Well, I'm sure you understand that. The only way to find out is if you have a go at some questions. Have a go at some questions and let's see how you do with them.